Hello, YouTube. Hello to all my friends out there in YouTube world. We had to shave that off. It's getting a little bit hot out, but uh, we might grow it back this fall. We'll see. But uh, we had to put a modern twist on it. But today I want to talk to you about this garden out here. This garden is a row crop garden. 90% of the time, that's the only kind of garden that I'll raise. We do have the raised bed, and that's an experimental garden. Um, we like it, and we may do a few more of those. They are an easy garden to tend, and uh, you can get quite a bit out of that raised bed, but not near what you're going to get out of a row crop. But there are some things that I want to clear up with the row crop. Is uh, the bigger the row crop garden, the more work you're going to have to put into it. And if you row crop a garden, you're going to have to work that garden. Now, I've had people ask me, what are you doing, what I'm doing to keep the weeds out? I'm not keeping the weeds out. That's where the work comes in with this right here at the garden hoe and uh, you've got to work the garden now what what we do is we're trying to beat the weeds out we can't keep them from growing but we want to give our domestic plants time to get taller than the weeds and then the plants will shade the ground and the weeds will kind of struggle to grow. But that's the object of the game is uh, when I say I'm healing up the plants is I'm actually pulling dirt up to keep on top of the weeds to smother the weeds down and to keep them from growing and allow the, the, the tomato or bean or the domestic plant to grow. And that's where I'm going to get the fruit or the vegetable off of it. I'm going to show you in the garden what we've been doing again. Any gardening, row crop gardening, or in the ground gardening, you're going to have to work it. There's no getting around it. Now, there, uh, there is, I do have a, a person that's watching my videos. I'm not going to tell you her name, but uh, she's wanting to do a row crop garden. I would do a small one, and I would plant the rows far enough apart that I could get your tiller through there. And then it makes uh, the hoeing a lot easier. You have plenty of dirt. You can heal up on the plants. And that's the, that's the way that a row crop, that we do the row crop. I'm not going to say that's the way it's done. A lot of people put it in the ground. They think they don't have to come back and do anything. Well, I beg your pardon. You have got to work that piece of ground. And again, the bigger the garden, the more work you're going to have to put into it. If you'll notice, we took and bent this hoe a little bit on the edge. It has a little bend in it. Then we sharpen the hoe. And what we want to do is, this is a gooseneck hoe, by the way, is we want to sharpen up with a little hook in it where we can just shave the weeds off even with the ground. We're not going to dig them out of the ground. We just want to shave them off the best that we can or we want to cover them up. Quick. This, this would be my favorite hose of all, all hose. This, uh, this hoe and I have been around for a while. It's a heavy hoe. Um, the wife doesn't really like this hoe. I have several of them. But uh, she likes the little gooseneck, and uh, it's a, a very light hoe. Also, uh, in the garden, you want to use this part, this part, the corner. You want to shave the weeds off with the edge. You're going to hoe with the, the uh, pull the dirt up with the blade. But this little corner, for this corner, you know, for digging and kind of chipping away. Sometimes you can't... Uh, 
Well, even in this garden, you're not going to be able to get the tiller through there. It's Everything's going to grow up. It's going to fold out. And we're not going to be able to get the tiller through there. We're still going to have to come in and work it with the hoe. So let's go out here and take a look at the garden. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, what I've been up to real quick. Sometimes you have to come with the back of this hoe or the gooseneck. To break those clods up. They're, they're pretty big. You've seen it in the last video. We're going to take the back of it. We're going to break them up. Alright, let's move right there and take a look. The weeds don't really matter with the green onions. Because these onions are not a keeper. But what we want to do is come through here, and we're going to pull a little dirt away from the onion. And we're going to shave the weeds off. We're just going to shave the ground. Shave those weeds off. But uh, we're going to get in here and pull the dirt back away from the onions here. Now you can see on these potatoes, We've got a little weeds growing right in here. So what we want to do, we just want to come through here. We want to heal it up. Kind of shave the weeds off a little bit. We want to heal those rows up. Pull the dirt right up on top of the weed. We're going to do the same thing with the beans. We've got a few weeds growing. We're going to come in here and we just want to shave, the, shave them off. We're going to heal it up a little bit. Heal the beans up. I like that. We're going to put a heel around everything but the onions. Remember, we pull the dirt away from the onions. Now we're in the row here where we dug the, uh, we dug it by hand, or with the hoe here, and we're using Brenda's hoe, because that's the kind of hoe right here that most of you have out there, but uh, what we want to do, we've already dug it up with the corner of the hoe, we're going to come through here and just, we want to break these clods up, we want to break them up with the back of the hoe, the gooseneck part. Easy work. Hoeing is easy, easy work. You do it right. We're just going to come in here and we want to break all the clods up. The rain will do the rest. That'll give us time to get the tiller in here and really get them healed up good. Now we're on these tomato plants. We want to come in here and Kind of break the crust a little bit and heal these up some. Pull some fresh dirt up there on them. Go all the way around it, just like so. Get them healed up good. Pull up a nice little hill of dirt around them and uh, just let them grow. Now these are zinnia flower plants. We're just going to pull a little hill of dirt up here on these. This will be the first time they got healed and uh, we're just going to go down through here and heal them up a little bit. Put a little dirt up there on them. Just a little bit. Until they come out of the ground a little more. Alright, these are Brussels sprouts. We got some cabbages on down through there. But what we want to do, come in here, put a little dirt up on them. Shave them weeds off best you can. And if you got the little bend in your hoe and it's sharp, 
you can shave the top of that ground easy. Now these are beans. This side's already been healed up, but we need to heal this side a little bit. And when you rake the hoe across that ground, you're actually shaving the little weeds off. We're just going to heal it up a little bit here. Pull some dirt up on them and let them grow. Known as garlic. All we really try to do, and we're not even sure that you have to, is we just want to kind of keep the weeds down. We just want to kind of shave the weeds off with the ground there. Kind of show you what we're doing here with the garlic. We're not sure that it's necessary, but uh, that's just the way we're going to do it. Now that's right here. This is that raised bed. And uh, we'll just kind of show you. We don't have to really do anything to it. It just kind of grows itself there. I like that. Now this is a newer part of the garden. We just added this on to it. It has been stubborn this year and uh, it's really wanting to been fighting us, fight us with the weeds there. But we'll get her under control. All right, I hope that helps you out. I hope that helps the lady out there. Remember the object of the uh, garden game is staying on top of the weeds. And giving your plants time to grow. Once they jump up out of the ground. With the work you put into the garden. With the rains you're going to get. And the uh, fine weather. The humidity has got a lot to do with it. They will jump out of the ground. Again this is a small garden. But we're going to see how much we can get out of it. There is no fertilizer in this garden at all. No chemical fertilizer and no organic. We want to show you what a bare piece of ground will do. We raised a garden in this uh, piece of ground last year. It did fairly well. We're going to see how good it does this year with nothing but hard work. All right, I want to say God bless to you. And thanks always for coming by and watching the video. We hope you subscribe to the channel. We hope you learned a little something about row crop gardening. And uh, it's not the easiest uh, garden in the world. But we believe that you can get more from the row crop than any other style of gardening. We're not going to say quality, but we're going to say quantity. That's for sure. Again, thanks for coming by. You have a good day. We'll catch you in the next video.